The Tuesday after a Monday holiday always means a rough ride. will help you get out the door early or late in my black traffic. Tomorrow, starting at 4 a.m. showdown in Iowa as the beginning of the long 2024 presidential primary season kicks off. Good evening, I'm Mike Oldman. And Tom Meredith McDade in tonight for Sheriff Calvin. All eyes were on the Hawkeye State tonight. Former President Trump secured a decisive victory in the frigid Iowa caucuses, pushing America closer to a possible Trump rematch with President Biden. In a state with just 8% of California's population, presidential hopefuls have historically looked to Iowa to help launch themselves to nominee status. And tonight, Iowans gathered for the first justice award for Republicans in what ended up being a race for second place. KJLA's Carlos Acedo has been tracking the contest all night long for us, and he joins us live from the KJLA News Center with the latest. Carlos? Micah and B, the big question heading into the night, how the frigid weather was going to impact voter turnout. Now, we saw democracy in action as Iowans braved the cold temps to let their voices be heard. With Trump the favorite, tonight's outcome was no surprise. All eyes were on who would come in second place. Now, let's look at the numbers here. With 99% of the vote in, former President Trump received slightly more than 50%. Ron DeSantis came in second with 21%, edging out Nikki Haley, who came in a close third. Vivek Ramaswamy in last place. Trump, of course, with a blowout win. 